I'm Kristin here and welcome to Bradford Library's Summer Activities 5 Minutes of Fun. So today we're going to see how we can have fun making pizzas. So first of all I'm going to make some dough. What you need is a pound of strong white flour. Pour that into the bowl. Add to that one tablespoon of sugar. Add to that a pinch of salt. And add to that a tablespoon of olive oil. And then you need a sachet of yeast. Just sprinkle that on top. And finally, you need eight fluid ounces of lukewarm water, which has just been boiled and needs to cool, so you might need a parent to help you with that. And you pour it in and give all of that a good mix. And when it's had a really good mix and it starts to come together, you just need to get your hands in make a nice soft dough like this. So eventually it will look like this, nice soft dough ball. You want to put it onto a surface, you can put a little bit of flour down and just give it a little quick knead as it's called just to make it nice and smooth. You can just really give it real good bashing. When you've got it nice and smooth, I want to pop it back into the bowl. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so you pop it back into the bowl and cover your bowl with cling film and leave it for about half a day. And we'll come back to it later. So now our dough has risen. So we made it in the morning and it's now tea time. And as you can see, it's nicely risen. So we take off the cling film and we take out as much dough as you want to make your pizza. So you can make several pizzas out of this. So here we are. And we're going to make a round pizza today. So you can roll it out. You can either use your hands and just shape it or you can use a rolling pin. Let's quickly make a nice circle. And of course you can make it is a thin pizza, if that's what you like. We can make it a little bit thicker. Okay. And give it a little bit of a tug as well. And when you have the shape and the size that you want, you can put it onto your tray or your plate. So I've greased this bit earlier with olive oil and now I'm going to put it onto the plate and then you get to the more exciting bit where you can actually decorate your pizza. So the first thing you'll need is some tomato puree for your base. So you just put some puree on the middle there. And then you get the back of the spoon and just spread around. And see how much you want. Okay, I think I might need a little bit more on that. Okay, so when you've done that, you can start decorating your pizza. So what I've got with me today, what I'm going to make my pizza with, is I've got some chorizo, so I thought that would be quite good to make some eyes. And I've got some pineapple, which I thought might be quite good to make some teeth. There we go. And then I've got some black olives. That can be a good nose, I think. And then I've got some red pepper here, which I thought could be some quite mad hair. Maybe these are a bit big. 
I'm going to have some smaller pieces here. There we go. Okay. And we can have a few more olives. Have some cheeks over here. And then I've got some mozzarella. I thought could just be over here for ears. A little bit more over there. And then I like to put the cheese on top. Some people like to put it underneath and could start with that if they wanted to. But I actually like all my cheese on top. Okay. And there you have a pizza which you can put in the oven. It's great fun and the best thing is you can eat it at the end. So here we have our cooked pizza and hopefully that will be really delicious to eat in a few minutes time. Don't forget there are lots of cookery books and baking books for children in the library and you can have lots of fun with your family making lots of different types of things as well. And if you want to do some other fun things why not join the summer reading challenge.